I've already learned everything I need to about Dr. Finn. You're wrong. You say you brought this lawsuit for your family. Dr. Finn has a family. They adore him, especially his young daughter. As a doctor, there is nobody better. In fact, he's the reason I'm able to stand here and talk to you. When he came to Port Charles, I was very sick, out of options. He saved my life. I'm not the only person that can say that. Dr. Finn is a kind, caring, generous, good man. And poor Charles is so much better for having him here. You're obviously very passionate about your friendship with Dr. Finn. But for all of his supposed brilliance, his negligence led directly to my husband's death. Okay, I was hoping to break through your grief to appeal to your sense of fairness. But clearly, I am going to have to appeal to something else. So how about your sense of self-preservation? I'm offering a trade. My help in exchange for my freedom. After you tried to kill me. If someone tried to kill you, Anna, I wasn't present. Nor can you prove that I gave the order. And since our time together is limited, I have to spend all the valuable information I possess. Hmm. Well, unfortunately for you, I like the power to grant immunity. Oh, Anna has ties to the DA. In fact, I believe she married him. Twice. Tell Scorpio I want immunity and all charges dropped. It's never gonna happen. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just can't help you. Good luck with your investigation. No. What if I were to give you an even better offer? Ah, uh, what's better than my freedom? Your life? Check back in this way. Looks like you're about to jump out of your skin, eh? <laughs> well, I could use a little something to calm my nerves, you know, preferably something with a little umbrella in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> when Puerto Rico? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> you know, I was on board when you said you wanted to come down here. I thought it would give us uh, all of some more room to breathe instead of being cooped up in the penthouse. But now that I'm here, I just I feel so exposed, just out here like this, you know? as secure as, as I can, Ava. Well, Avery doesn't seem concerned at all, does she? She, she practically sprinted from the tarmac to the beach. Avery loves the ocean. <laughs> and she's, you know, she's secure with the guards that I have her with and the nanny, and no one's gonna get near her. Okay. That makes me feel a little better, honestly. You gotta stop making yourself crazy. All Avery knows is she's in Puerto Rico having fun with her parents. Well, she's not such a little girl anymore, you know. And she notices more than you may think. It won't be long before you'll be having to have some pretty difficult discussions with her. Don't worry about me. You can have fun. Oh, we definitely will. Two times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Portia. Hey, Ron. Hi. Hey. Uh, I was just on my way to your office to look for you. Good that everyone's here because you should all know this. No, no, what's wrong? Esme's not in Toronto. She's in Paris. You are, during the recess, Mr. Gray informed me that he will be adding a witness. I move to adjourn so that I may prepare for that testimony. Any objections, Mr. Gray? Actually, Your Honor, I'm afraid I owe you uh, and Opposing Castle on the court, an apology. There's been a change of plans. I had intended to add a new witness, but on further reflection, that will no longer be necessary. So if it's all the same to you, Your Honor, I'd just like to proceed with the witness list I disclosed to the court. All right. Then you may proceed. Your Honor, if I may. Well, this is a first. I haven't even started yet. Already, Ms. Miller is objected. If my esteemed counsel will just give me a moment. I've been informed by my client that she wishes to drop the lawsuit. 